Does she have a boyfriend now? I don't know lie, she's from my head. Ah. I really can't believe I tested positive. Yeah, me too, eh? And how was even at your cool, eh? Well, the doctor said I'm one of those cases. Uh, asymptomatic, she said. Oh, so you're fine. But I'm still positive. I could still infect other people. I probably already have. I could have gotten you infected. Hey, look, I'll get tested and then I'll isolate. You isolate too? Oh, I guess so. Oh, this is such a nightmare. Does that mean I could have gotten people sick? It's possible. Don't be too hard on yourself. Well, what are people gonna think of me? You no, but okay, no. Get a grip. Breathe. I just, I just need to be a little bit more responsible. So that's what I'll do. I'll, I'll be a little bit more responsible. Yes. Think of others, buddy. Think of others. Hey, 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 hey. You didn't know, okay? But the information was all there. Everyone kept saying social distancing, social distancing, stay home. And there I was out gallivanting, partying and socializing, taking my mask off every time I felt like it. God, you know, I, I just really hope that nobody died because of me. Okay, look, it's time to sum. I know that this is not easy for you. But to your finger is gone there. You know, people make mistakes and you made a mistake out of ignorance. Maybe what I can do, what I will do, is phone everyone I know I've been in contact with and let them know that I tested positive. Ah, there you go. Oh, don't be happy. See? Now you're doing the right thing. I just can't believe you're being so supportive. I really thought you would run so far in the opposite direction. Uh-uh. Run and go where? Nchana. I like this Romeo and Juliet, bold and the beautiful love story you got going on. Come on now. Even though I've got the cocoa. Even though you got the cocoa. <laughs> You're so sweet. And when we do meet, we'll meet outdoors. I'll keep the right distance from you. You wear your mask, I'll wear mine. I suppose that could work. Of course it will work. And I think you can still go ahead with your event. There is no way. Yes. I mean, you didn't see some channel level through your room. Level. And I've always can't wait to be with your friends. Oh, goodness. I already told you. They all like you. You see the way Dorino is looking at me? Yeah. What? No, you're definitely being paranoid. That aside, you still need to make sure the event happens. It's for charity. No, I know, but... It's outdoors, you're gonna have less than 50 people, and you ensure you take the necessary precautions. Oh, I know, I know. I could be there, but like, in a huge, fancy, giant, human bubble ball right next to the stage. That way, I don't contaminate anyone. Sure, I mean, you look ridiculous. <laughs> no, I won't look ridiculous. I, I, I... I'll decorate it. I'll put some fairy lights in it and I'll put some some glitter, you know? Like, I'll just bejazzle it. Speaking of which, a friend of a friend makes some really, really cool bejazzled masks. I'm sure she could give us, like, a bunch for the event. Ah, perfect. I'll handle that. Ah, are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I mean, it's time to summer, so I'm my tassa tassa looking for a bubble castle. Okay, great. I'm going to send you her email and you can get in touch. Okay, I'm going to send you her email now. Okay, I'll get it sorted. Yeah, this wait is driving me crazy. They will call when they can't call. You're worrying too much about it. How now? This result is going to decide my father's future. You know, you know, say, even if the result come back as positive, People do recover from COVID. If they are healthy, yes. But this man has been poisoning himself his entire life. And you are poisoning yourself with worry right now, Far. <sighs> You're right. I, I need to get this out of my head. Just distract me, please. <laughs> uh, well, I could do a juggling act. No, not that. Mm. I can dance for you. 
said you can move, but no. Aha! Uh -huh. So you think I can move? Mm? Please don't. <laughs> what? I think I just had flashbacks. What flashback? Oh, when we. Never mind. Actually, just forget I said anything. Oh. Please, please. Yeah, you know what? Consider it forgotten. I mean, I don't even need to forget anyways. It's not like I remember. See? Now it's awkward. And it doesn't have to be Khalil. We've been so much sure about it. One whole year, nothing. And then suddenly you bring it up just so you can tell me to forget it. We have avoided it for ages. Now it's on the table. We might as well... We moved on. I didn't. I didn't. What? I love you. Yes, I, I said it finally. I love you, Far. It's the hospital. Hello? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes, I understand. Thank you. Thank you very much. They're treating him for alcohol poisoning. Okay. And the test results? He's negative. Thank God. Yes, he's good, but they said he has to change his lifestyle drastically after this game. We thank God for second chances. Oh, I'm so happy. Kalio, thank you so much. Thank you. What did I do? The support. Sometimes it doesn't feel like social distancing the way I feel so close to you. I mean, the video calls. The video calls make me feel close to you and my friend. Yeah. Short in. Yeah, um, I have to go. Let me call AB and give him the good news. Bye. Uh... I love you too. I love you not like a friend. I love you. Okay, bye. It's okay, this is a safe space. Um... You can stop coming up with these pathetic reasons to keep calling me because they're not working. People keep talking. My colleagues keep asking me to see pictures of my mystery man. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to come off as pathetic. I was only joking, but clearly you have more serious things on your mind. You know what, maybe this was a bad idea. No, no it wasn't. You can talk to me. When I'm not fooling around, I'm actually kind of a good listener. I, uh... Just not been feeling like myself, Chopin. Um... Could you elaborate a little more? It's like... This whole time, my whole life, I lived it like I was invincible. And then... After catching COVID, I'm vulnerable all the time. Just not used to being weak. Leo, vulnerability isn't weakness. It is to me. You know, for the first time in my life, I'm questioning every single thing that I thought I knew, like proper existential crisis shit. I was never that guy, Shope. But you've been through this scary, life-changing experience. COVID-19. Of course, you don't feel like yourself anymore. You stared death in the face and won. <sighs> won? I may still be alive, but I didn't win anything, Chopin. I mean, nothing excites me anymore. You know, Toby hooked me up with this really dope musician, Stephanie, and the old B.O. would be so excited to work with such an amazing talent, but the 
This guy's bored stiff. I don't know how much longer I can keep pretending. Okay, then don't. Honor your feelings, Leo. Accept that that is not where your energy is right now. You know, I used to be just like Stephanie. All this crap was important to me. What if I stay this way? What am I supposed to do with my life now? I don't know, but I'm sure you'll figure it out. And who knows, it just might be fun. Fun? <laughs> Are you serious? This is a disaster. And I see it as an opportunity for you to reinvent yourself. That sounds pretty damn exciting to me, Leo. It's all about perspective. I know you think that I should be grateful for being alive, and I am. I'm just not okay. Maybe I should stop talking before you start looking at me funny. I am on your side, but this corona turned the whole world upside down. So of course we're gonna be affected. I get scared. I get despondent, but then I pick up the phone and I call someone the same way that you have called me and I talk it through. It really helps because we all need someone to listen sometimes. So what you are feeling, Leo, is perfectly normal. Really? Yes, really. I can even send you links to organizations that offer counseling because it's really important to keep a check on your mental health. Yeah, you're right, it is my mental health. I'm glad I called you, Chopin. Thank you. Anytime. So, are you okay there? You, you have everything you need? Daniel, I told you I'm fine. Can you talk about happy, normal things? Like, what's going on with your three girlfriends? Mm, I'm trying to explain. That was a mistake. And I wasn't a player. No. But let's just say now I have no one. They all decided to dump me. Daniel, you had one job. One. I know. I know. But maybe I'm just better off single for now. No, I've had enough excitement to last me a while. <laughs> so, can we talk about you now, properly? Daniel? Hey, I just want to know that you're okay, that you're really okay. And you're not pretending like you pretended before that everything was fine with Cabello and you. Okay, you have a point. No, I've been going for counseling. I'm realizing a lot of things I didn't before about Cabello, about myself. Zamo and I were so worried about you when we couldn't reach you. And I'm feeling like every time that I turn on the news and there was another report about JBV cases, I started thinking the next fatal incident could seriously be my friend. I realize how lucky I am. You know, I'm learning about how this guy just disempowered me. How he drained my self-confidence and self-worth. Even started blaming myself, telling myself that I'm weak. But I'm learning that it wasn't my fault. And I promised myself that I'll never fall for something like this ever again. I'm so proud that you've come to the realization. And either way, I will still have been here for you. So. What now? Are you going to report Cabello to the authorities? Cabello has already stolen more than enough of my life. And I won't give him a second more. So I plan to move on and live my best life and forget that he ever existed. I don't know if that's a good idea. Yeah, Cabello has already proved that he doesn't take no for an answer. And yeah, you may have blocked him on social media, but he's still arresting me. Zamo, and if you're over your friends, demanding to know where you are. Did you have to tell me that? Why do you keep on bringing Cabello up when all I'm trying to do is put him behind me? I'm not trying to hurt you, you know. But the truth is, Cabello will never be behind you until you truly deal with him.
Eat Pudori shells. Okay, I beg, let me know when he's sober. And keep an eye on him. If you want mess up or you want to try come out, house, make him call me. Okay. Your daddy's back home. For now. I just feel bad to say if you guys the police move and I'll make him disappear again. I'm willing to help. I know. But I don't want you to put yourself at risk just because they relaxed the lockdown. Hmm. No. I'm just going to be careful. I mean, I'll wear my mask, my distance, and just be there to take care of your father if he needs a break. Mr. Lover, Lover, stay in your house. Uh -uh. What? All this water you're for me nice. Are you trying to seduce me? No. No. I'm just... Just... It's okay if you are. <laughs> um... So... So... Um... What is going to happen now? I mean... Are we... Are you trying to ask me to be your girlfriend? Yes. Oh. It's... Isn't that what you want? Is it weird that I'm asking? I want... Yeah? To kiss you. <laughs> Is it weird? Is that going to be weird? No, no of, of course not. I mean, it's, it's not like we haven't done it before. Right? So you do remember. And you were pretending like nothing happened the next morning. I was so embarrassed, Khalil. Me? Was it not you that left before I woke up? Don't lie. You think I don't know that you were pretending to be asleep? Hmm? Khalil, I know the way you snore when you're asleep. I watched you sleep on the studio couch so many times. You were waiting for me to leave. I was waiting to see how you felt. I didn't want you to feel pressured to say anything that you didn't mean. And then our friendship would be messed up. Neither did I. Well, now we know. So, next time you wouldn't have to be sneaking out when I'm sleeping. Next time. When would that be with this whole pandemic? I don't even know when next I'll be in Lagos. Next week? Next month? Man, with the way the numbers are rising, I don't know. And people are dying. And many people don't even seem to be taking this whole isolation thing seriously. Either. Right. So next year then. Next year. Ah. I will keep it. Ah. Okay. How far now? How can they wire you? Yes. But I am also patient. You are what waiting for. So what are you going to be doing to keep yourself busy while you're waiting for me? Mm -hmm. For now. I mean, we found your dad, so I guess it's my turn. Your mom. Yeah, I... I think I'm, I'm just going to send that text. Okay, I'll give you some privacy. You look really busy. I'm busy running our debts. D, I thought this was finally the answer, okay? I got this, all this material on credit, but there aren't even orders coming in. Just one here and the other one there. It's not even enough for cost delivery. And what about the salon? You can open it up again, right? If I had the money, I could. Okay, but I let the rent fall through and everything kicked off. And now the landlord says, in order for me to show commitment, I need to pay a deposit. Or it goes to somebody else. Sure. Maybe you should do some marketing, like those big brands on social media. So I can get a bunch of whole new dick pics. I'm sorry. I wish there was some way I could help. No, 
It's okay, D. You have a lot to deal with. But the girl does look a bit cheerful. Am I? That's nice to hear. I think I'm starting to make some breakthroughs with my counseling. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You know, I think I'm finally realizing that his violence had everything to do with him. His insecurities, his need for power. Not anything I did. Uh, newsflash. I could have told you that myself for free. Nobody likes a smart ass, see? That's not <laughs> true. Because you love me. <laughs> okay, ignore me and my silliness. Go on. No, I was gonna say, in every instance, even if I had done everything right by his standards, the situation would still end in violence or manipulation because he needed that. Have you reported him yet to the police? I'm still not sure about that. Why are you still defending this little wanna? I figure I got out of the situation and I'd like to stay out of it. And a police case would just bring him back into my life. Him walking out there is bringing him back into your life, Dineo. Do you know that he's still sending me nasty and threatening messages? He has. Still. You surprised? I know he's been sending to Daniel as well. Yeah, he mentioned. Is he not trying to reach you on socials? No, I blocked him there. And? Do you think I would accept an invitation from that creep? No. He invited me under a different account, like Hakuna Z, some shit like that. Has a zebra as an ID pic. Yeah. Wait, what? Did you say Hakuna Z? Whoa. Whoa! <laughs> I just got a huge ass order on my face masks. Some guy by the name of Bandila just emailed me. He wants 50 masks this weekend and 500 by the end of the month. It's great, guys. Okay, <laughs> let me email and confirm that I will start this as soon as I get his deposit. 500. You know what this means, right? That the nail business can clean. Back on. Yay! <laughs> um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What's wrong? This person followed me four months ago. Four months. Are you sure it's Cabello? So all these months, he's been following me with a different identity. To what? Keep an eye on what I get up to. It might have not been the only thing he's done. Sometimes these manipulative guys plan long term. Okay, they check your phone, your emails, memorize your passwords. Do you remember Saul from my neighborhood? The one with the hand that died. Do you know how long he played that game? Hello. I'd like to report a case of domestic violence. <laughs> you called me to sing? No, no, I just, I just didn't try to break the ice, ni. Um, I, um, I, actually, I want to tell you that, uh, that I'm sorry. For? <laughs> Babe, you know, nah. Maybe I don't know. Or maybe I just want to be sure that you do. For lying and deceiving you, I, I I said I was going to use a condom when we had sex, and I lied. So I'm not supposed to do that kind of thing. Is this not the bad way you tell me that you're forgiving me? <laughs> Babe, no they squeeze your face now. Nah. No they spoil your fine girl, Lou. You don't know, say me and you don't already get this advantage, you know? Meaning? <laughs> you you know now. Nah. 
Everything is a joke to you, eh? What's you? You say sorry, but with the same mouth, you make the whole thing look like it's a joke. No, 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 beside it. No, beside a joke. No, say. I don't like making things they day too serious like that. You get. But they already are was you. And you need to stop ignoring that. Those stupid and embarrassing jokes you made in front of your friends when I was just trying to warn you to get tested. The stunt you pulled at the graduation party. But why did they bring up all these ones now? Because you're still behaving like that, was you. Is this really how you want to keep living your life? No. Did you really just say no? You shock you. <laughs> see, see me honestly, it's not like I'm a bad guy like that too. Oh, well, you know, say they thought say, and I in a condition they make crayfish bent. And you know, see my family situation, you know, to they want kind of. We all have problems with you, but we're not kids anymore. Do you want to wait till it gets out of hand before you take your status serious? No. I bet you're not even taking your ARVs. I did, I did, I did. I started, I started taking them again. Good. And you should get counseling too. Meet people who have the same status as us and who are actually living their lives. Maybe that will help keep you on track. <laughs> are we not talking already? What do we need another counseling session for again? See what's you. I can't save you from drowning. I'm still learning to swim myself. Oh. Yeah, okay. Besides, with our history, I don't think I'll be comfortable being the one you call to tell all your problems. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey. Hi, D. Hey, guys. Guess what? What? It's done. The police reports have filed the paperwork and they've got the hospital report that the shelter helped me sort out when I first got here. And they have some details about my bruises and stuff. <laughs> yes, girl! Yes, so what's next? Well, they've gone to pick him up and based on his statement, I'll know what the next steps are. Oh, Dee, this is great news. I'm so proud of you. Thanks, cuz. I just hope this case doesn't turn into a whole mess. I'm also looking forward to being free from him and knowing that he won't be pulling that kind of shit on another girl. I can't wait for that slime to be behind bars. Looks like I interrupted you. Is all this for the customer that emailed yesterday? A uh, bandila with the 500 masks. Yes, it is for him. Nice. Looks like we're both having a good day. They've paid, right? Actually, he or she was supposed to send a deposit today, so let me check. Oh, <gasps> yeah! <laughs> yeah! It's in! <laughs> yes! I don't even know when it came through. <gasps> bandile. Yes, Bandile, ne? Ngiabonga. Ngiabonga. Whoever, wherever you are. Yo, tell me go to Uzo Chabula, and then you're gonna come back for more and more. And more. <laughs> Are you sure <clears throat> you don't want a business partner? I might just because I'm gonna see another sleepless night tonight. Uh, it's the police. Bam Bam Bill. Already? Yo, I would have loved to see that smirk of Gabelo's face crumble as they put him in handcuffs. Shh. Hello? Oh. So what happens next? Okay, and what's going on? They went to Gabelo's place to pick him up. Looks like he had a feeling that I was going to report him. Meaning? He packed a bunch of fee stuff and he left. And they have no idea where to find him. Fresh fruits, vegetables. Well, I just wanted to help out. That way, you don't have to worry about anything else inside. Taking care of Popsy. Huh. Okay. Waiting.
you think say they wear here they try help to you avoid this virus yeah i'm just wondering if there's no other thing you were thinking i don't know which you need to talk yeah. so this is why you send us full stop as if so you be our in-law what do you they think oh maybe if you ask your sister that one Eh, I knew it. So you people finally got your act together, eh? You knew it. Dude, you are always so obvious. I mean, the way you're always looking at her. Okay, okay. So I've always liked your sister. Hmm, like always, always. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, I have always thought your sister was amazing. It just took her a little longer to notice me. And then one day I was standing outside this club waiting for Toby and she came to chill with me. And that was how we started talking. Hmm. You know, I used to have a crush on this girl, I thought was gonna make me happy as well. But after I got to know her, I just realized. Uh, the girl you're dating now, far mentioned someone. Cynthia? No, no way. No, this was before Cynthia and I got together. Actually, they were kind of they were kind of friends. It took me a while to realize Cynthia was more amazing than her in every way. Mm. And do you know now? Are the two of you, the both of you, are you ready to start a serious relationship? <sighs> yeah. Absolutely. Cynthia is the one. Hmm? Oh. Oh. Is that my sister? Uh, hello? <laughs> Mommy. So, I will officially no longer be infectious by next week. And I was just wondering, do you think I should continue with the concert? Ah, Papa. Usan booze, I thought this was a done deal. Well, are the masks confirmed? We, I mean, we can't do it if we don't have masks for everybody to wear, even if it's an open air concert. Stand aside. I said I would take care of this, didn't I? So, when the Coco Mo and Toby Sanja, your booze on the job. Mm, that sounds like a very vague answer. What, do you want me to, to send you the deposit slips from this chick? Chick? Mm, tell us. Mm, I'm curious. And the house by out on each year. I mean, we, we haven't spoken on the phone yet. I just assumed. Besides, I mean, AB out of the body matasa tasa with shiny masks and nail kits. Ah, try saying that to some of my friends. You might get yourself an earful. Don't I know that already? Oh, come on, babe. Not this again. Yeah, but baby, you know that I'm not imagining things. It shows up because the thing I'm not good enough for you. You saw just the other day the way Ota really went Oh, well, that's only because he thought you looked familiar. Look, I'm not mad that they think I'm not good enough for you. Because you are amazing. Quiet and demons of a nigga. And you see Oh, babe, that's so sweet. But you really need to stop talking about yourself like this. Uh-uh, honestly. What do you want? Do you want me to tell you all the ways I think you're amazing? Well, I'm not gonna cover my ears. Well, you're sexy, you're manly, kind, considerate, you're selfless, you're open and just so honest. <laughs> um... Look, baby, I should check on event. I want to jump by Master Figure One Clash. Wait, r like right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right now. Um, I, I, and for the nigga chums, I'm not good enough for you again. Look, I'll, I'll chat to you later, ne? Oh, okay. Sol. No.
buena. Yeah. If you have any questions about COVID-19, text the word COVID to plus four one seven nine eight nine three one eight nine two on WhatsApp. For more information about coronavirus or related issues, visit mtvsugar.com forward slash alone together. Terms and conditions apply.